Loading, loading, and excellent. A couple of minutes late, apologies everybody, um, if you're already finding this, uh, but we are ready to go tonight for the online drumming circle. And uh, uh, for those who are just finding the video on Facebook Live there, all those people who told me recently that you've got this date marked in your calendar, um, I'm sure you were sitting there at the computer clicking refresh and refresh and refresh, waiting for it to show up. Um, a few minutes later, I apologise, but we are. We are, or we should now be, um, ready to go. And wonderful, those who are just joining in on Zoom, just letting a couple more people in. Welcome to you all as well. Excellent. Thanks for those who are just uh, finding the, the live stream on Facebook. I can see a couple of bubbles going up. Um, I might need to do something else to get the comments going. Oh, I've made it very light and very dark. There we go, I can see the comments there now. Wonderful. So welcome Maggie, joining in from North Kilworth. We are tonight together for uh, our Spring Equinox drumming circle. This is the closest one that we have to the spring equinox. I've clicked something on the screen and now I'm getting, there we go, that's what I wanted to focus on. Um, oh no, I've maybe done something on there now. Hopefully that should be fine. Excellent. Um, super. Welcome those who are just finding it on Facebook. Um, tonight is obviously our drumming circle that is the nearest one to the spring equinox so we'll be honouring and marking the spring equinox tonight um, but just as it is a year anniversary since the start of the UK lockdown um, it is also uh, by no coincidence a year anniversary since the first online drumming circle that we had together so uh, tonight we'll be also holding that in mind of the this this t uh, turn of the wheel that we've shared together with these. Thanks for those who are joining. Maxine says the live stream keeps dropping out. Reminds me of the first one that we had a year ago, um, where we were playing with all sorts of technical issues. Hopefully, it will settle as we go on. Um, back to how things were a year ago. It's I'm a few minutes late starting and setting up. But welcome for joining along from Basingstoke. Welcome Phoebe from San Francisco. Welcome Jude. Welcome those joining from Derbyshire. Um, uh, quite a few people are saying that they will be leaving at 8 o'clock for um, a minute vigil. Um, I knew there was something earlier on today at midday. Is there also something this evening generally happening? Okay. Um, I wasn't aware of that. I was aware of the one at midday today um, but it might well tie in with um, with what I've got planned for part of this evening and having that that time for focus and reflection um, so yes if you need to nip out onto the street for that I think in the first week when we had the first lot of drumming circles um, we also had uh, the start of the clap for your carers clapping for carers on the Thursday um, in that first fortnight, I think we had sort of four or five drumming circles. Um, and yeah, the Thursday ones, obviously we had that break at eight o'clock to go outside and, and drum outside. Hi, those joining from Plymouth, from Derbyshire, from Deeside, from Essex. Lighting a candle in the window for those who have passed, the COVID victims, those who have passed with COVID. Thank you for that. So yes. Um, let me see if I can have another candle handy or I can bring the this candle forward and keep an eye on that for, for 8 o'clock. We'll, we'll tie that in. Lovely, so those joining from Aberdeenshire, joining from Croatia, from Edinburgh, wonderful. And who, who on there who's joining us this evening has been here since the start? Who's been here since the first ones we were doing back in March last year? There's a few waves on the Zoom screen. Um, but yeah, let us know on Facebook as well if you've been joining us on this 
uh, over the last year. We've been hearing kind of quite a lot recently, um, checking in with those who are just finding it. There's been obviously a, a, since the start of January with the or start of February with the restart of it, we've had um, a great number of people joining. But yeah, if you've if you've been along on these since last year, do uh, do let us know in the comments as well. These began on the spring equinox last year, um, which was two or three days before the UK lockdown started, when it seemed like it was going in that direction. When there was, you know, definitely kind of a uh, an ever rising reason to be be careful. So we moved the drumming circle, or we held a, an online drumming circle, and then a couple of days later there was the lockdown. Um, then we held another one on the Thursday. And I think we held one the following Tuesday um, and then maybe one more on the Friday and then we moved to fortnightly and apart from uh, one we missed in September and a couple we missed in January we've been going fortnightly since then um, so yeah we've had a year of these spaces where I and mean, we've we've been a, a, a monthly drumming circle in Ashford in the UK in the southeast of UK um, going for a number of years now but it's been incredible to have yeah all these people who are commenting on there saying kind of yes yeah, been here since the beginning um of this regular group coming together this this wide circle that spreads all around the world with regular friends joining in from san francisco friends joining in from iceland uh from denmark we've got people joining us today from croatia um others joining in from france um Lots of other places that I've missed off the list as well, and a, a kind of a wide, uh, a wide network of people around the UK joining in and connecting in on these spaces. All right. If you're joining in on um, on Facebook, do also, if you could, uh, in the bottom right of the screen, there's a share button. Do please click share on that. If you found this through a group or if you found this through uh, some online community somewhere. Um, you know the, the relevant kind of uh, uh, Facebook groups do please share it back there because there may be other people who haven't found their way to the page um, to be able to uh, you know to click in this evening and it will just help help them be able to find their way on to join us this evening yeah it's been a wonderful really beautiful international community kind of uh, growing in this circle of people all around the world and people that I've maybe had seen before on uh, clicking like underneath a post or uh, commenting on something in the in the past but it's been lovely to be able to connect in and hear from you more regularly in the comments section or on the zoom seeing the jazz hands to let me know that you're still alive and awake it's been wonderful so as always let's open the space together taking a moment just to step out of our busy everyday lives and step into and create a sacred space here together this evening and with that I'll just invite us to to ground and center and then I'll just do a, a calling in to honor all of those unseen so now that we're all here and set up let's take a moment just to to still ourselves wherever you're seated just do what you can just to make yourself a bit more comfortable. Check if you need an extra cushion. Do you actually need to get your feet firmly on the floor? And just take a moment to connect in with your breath. There's no need to affect it or change it in any way. Just Let's just take a moment to bring your attention to your breath. Focusing on those sensations, however subtle, whether it's the gentle cooling of the nostrils as you breathe in, that feeling as you fill with air, and as you exhale, that feeling of release, that feeling of settling, 
that feeling of just relaxing that little bit more into the seat that you're in and that little moment of stillness before the next breath and if visualizations work for you visualizing yourself in your tree body seeing those roots going down deep into the ground going through all the layers of soil going through the earth and right down into and around the stones deep in the earth and as you breathe drawing that energy up from the earth drawing that grounding earth energy up through into your your body your trunk your center and continuing with that tree body seeing your branches going up into the sky and as you exhale breathing out through those branches that breath drawing in from the roots that earth energy up all the way through you and breathing out through to the sky and then alternating so that on your next breath breathe in from those branches breathe in from the sun and the moon and the star nations bring in from the heavens above and draw that energy down through you down through your center and out through your roots and then the next breath up through your roots through your center and out through your branches having that strong grounded connection to the earth that strong connection to the skies above and being centered grounded and balanced in between and for myself here and for the circle I like some smudge herbs if you have smudge herbs of your own and it's something that you work with for yourself do do start with smudging yourself at home and with this I call on the plant spirit so with my love and gratitude and thank you thank you for your blessings of healing of cleansing of centering of grounding and so, light you here and release your beautiful incense to help clear away the stresses of the day to help clear away anything that I don't need to hold or focus on this evening and help me be completely present here help me be completely centered and here with the circle and here with the group And continuing to send these prayers out for the whole of the circle I'll let the the rest of that as much as is needed smolder as the smoke rises carrying those prayers out far and wide for us all to keep us grounded to keep us uh, lighter and clear and keeping us safe and held in this circle and all that just helps us drop down from our head and into our heart. And so all of us here, all of us joining on Zoom and all of us joining on Facebook Live, whether right now live or those joining on the recording afterwards, let's from our heart send out that call to the land, that honouring of the land beneath us. This land that's awakening into spring, that's awakening into life and into new beginnings that holds us and heals us and guides us on our journey through life. Let's honour and welcome the element of air. We've connected in with our breath. And let's extend that into honouring those gentle breezes and those wild winds of change. Let us honour the waters, those that flow in the rivers and streams, those that flow from the sacred springs 
and the mighty depths of the ocean. And all of that energy of flow within us. And let's call to the element of fire as we move into the brighter half of the year. The time of the year where the, the day is longer than the night. We move into the time where the sun will shine brightly. And we honour that fire of the sun for all the life that it gives. For all the life that it creates, supports, allows. And let's honour all of those fires within us. Those fires of passion, creativity, inspiration, illumination, excitement. All of those fires that, that keep those engines going to keep us moving forward. Let's call to all of our guides, all of those unseen that work with us and work through us. To teach us, to heal us, to guide us, to be there as spirit allies. We welcome you and we thank you for being here by our sides. And let's honour our ancestors. Let's honour all of those of our own bloodline. All of those ancestors of the land on which we are gathering now. And all of those ancestors of the spiritual traditions. All of those healers and seers and keepers of the, the sacred crafts. And as we welcome all of you and we open this circle... May you hold us this evening. We call to all of the spirits of the north, of the east, and the south, and the west, and ask the circle to be blessed. And to the earth below and sky above, fill the circle with purest love. Blessed be. Okay. So let us get started with our first round of drumming. Those of you who have got your drums, have them have them to the ready. Those who are joining with that heart drum that is beating there in your chest, join with an open heart to connect in with these rhythms and connect in as a circle as we connect in with this opening round, which has been our unity round. We are spread out right across the world, but this thread that joins us here as a circle reaches straight around us all and this first round of drumming is just connecting in in that circle so yes pick up your drum i will drum a rhythm and uh, and join in join in with it i'll just just the camera so you can see the drum excellent so unity round for our our online drumming community for all those who are here tonight and all those who are regular parts of the community, let's, let's hold all of us in this circle.
So feeling those rhythms of the drum, just being absorbed into yourself as, as much as you need at the moment. But also spreading out wide and holding this circle. Building those threads around and through and between us all. And yeah, just deepening your breath, moving your body, yeah, fingertips and your toes. Just as you return back from that space there with the drum. So yeah, that first round of drumming I have is a, a focus of uniting the circle. And, uh, you know, as I talked about just before we started, this online circle has created so many connections. It's allowed uh, people that I've maybe uh, would meet once a year on travels to, to far further corners of Scotland and other places, um, you know, been able to see more regularly and connect in with more regularly. We've been able to connect in more as a circle. There's people who are... Uh, you know, who have been able to build their connections through these online uh, circles and these online spaces and have a place regularly where we've been able to connect in as a circle. So, you know, we've done this connecting round each time and each time it builds the the the, the, the space and the threads and the, the holding of this circle more strongly. So thanks all those who are, I see a, a number more people who have uh, arrived just as we started that all those people who are joining and new to these circles, all those that have uh, come and gone at different times here and there as and when you can make it throughout the last year and all of those who've been able to make it for almost all uh, of these that we've held together over the last year. Just as we do throughout the year and just as we did on this one at the beginning of the, um, the year, uh, beginning of the back last March, we're going to be doing a round to focus in on the spring equinox and fo focus in on the spirit of the season. Um, and what that will hopefully allow is some time leading up to eight o'clock where we can hold the silence there um, with the candles. And if people are going to the front of the house to hold the candles, I uh, read on somebody's that that was the, the plan. Um, I'll stay here with the, the candle if people are staying at their computers just for, uh, for for two minutes of remembrance for all those that have, have lost their lives in this last year with COVID. Um, and we'll do a round of drumming after that to, to focus in on all of the things of the last year, beyond the circles that we've had together, but all of the, the, uh, the parts of the last year that we'll kind of, that we'll remember, we'll most remember. We're moving now with the spring equinox out of the dark half of the year and into the light half of the year and it is about that uh, that moving out into the the year to come the moving from that introverted inward part of ourselves coming more outward and it ties in with this this focus now or at least this hope that we're holding that we'll be moving from periods of lockdown to uh, coming out of those so uh, it's it's a time where we can hold that that focus um, in those two rounds of drumming with the the moment to hold the silence in between and uh, I've dug out the song that we started with last year um, for our first circle and we'll close with that this evening so that's the plan and hopefully that will all fit with with everything time wise so that we can all do um, do what we need to in terms of uh, honoring that eight o'clock vigil that people have talked about in the the comments as you've arrived bless you those who are popping comments in now it's been a real treasure to connect in with all of you and keep uh, kind of holding this space together throughout the last year yeah to, to have a space for unity throughout all of this absolutely absolutely now i really honor you and thank you all of those of you who have uh, kept on going with this space throughout the last year and and you know it's it's through the yeah through the kind of the the, the setting it up but having the, the the core group who hold hold that energy by being here regularly allows people to come and go as they need to um and makes it so uh, welcoming for those who just arrive and who are newly along um 
we've 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 got a, a a space here where we are twice a month, and now working with that and exploring that a little bit with uh, having the journeying session as well each month, as well as deepening what we can do together in this space. So absolutely beautiful that we're uh, we're able to to see this evolve and grow as as needs be. So uh, let's. Uh, I'm keen to get on with the the next round of drumming, um, so that we're we're all right for time. Um, but yeah, spring equinox, this time of the year. What does what do you associate with it? Pop it in the comments. What are you or in the the chat? What are your associations with this time of year? We're at the spring equinox now, and as I already mentioned, it's this time where we're moving from the dark into the light. We're in that that balance space between where we've gone from the long nights and the short days, and we're now, you know, around this equal day, equal night time. And now, yeah, first comment straight in there, loving the longer evenings. Uh, it's dark now, but just as we started the circle, it was already, uh, oh, it was still um, light out there. Um, people talk about new beginnings, the daffodils and the blossoms on the trees. Yeah, new growth, rebirth, finding a balance. Yeah, this time where all the buds are on the trees, the bulbs pushing out through the earth. And all of those things that we've been sitting with as ideas that we'd like to do more of in the year. We suddenly start to feel that energy really rising for those, for those new projects, those new dreams. Yeah, vitamin D with the sunshine and it's been lovely to have the, the yeah the next comment there warmth of the sun to have the sun shining in the last couple of days thinking about seed planting tending to the needs of the garden flowers bird song and light wonderful wonderful new life and abundance what else do we have there comments wise yeah, the light returning and planting seeds, seeing nature springing forth, the blossoms. It's always working out the, the order of the blossoms. It's not something I've kind of studied particularly, but, you know, on the walks that I have out and around, it's uh, noticing, ah, yes, it's it's you who comes first, and then you come along, right? Okay, and then when do when we really expect this one? This one's usually later. Oh, no, it's coming now. All that, uh, uh, I don't know watching of 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 nature kind of coming uh, awakening into spring wanting wild, wild and free like the march hares excellent excellent new opportunities orange california poppies beautiful yeah somebody else has said hares um i was out uh at the weekend at a mystery location and um, we saw hares running out and across the land there that was really quite quite lovely and amazing to see um, sort of sprang out of nowhere completely out of nowhere as we were walking along and suddenly just running across yeah the snowdrops the crocuses uh, the the primus deaths the black fawn and the tulips yeah it's the black fawn that I've been seeing um, first come into to, to life with the leaves and the blossoms at the moment. Ah, fantastic. So as people kind of are noticing the brightening up and the warming up, feeling less aches in their, their body and yeah, much kind of better for mind and mood. Baby lambs with their with their mums, lovely if you're able to see that at the moment. That's that's wonderful. Others commenting, yes, the black fawn being a bit late this time of, this year. The primroses, magnolias, one of the most one of my favourite trees for the uh, for the blossoms. And uh, here in Canterbury, we've got a number of them out and around in places, so it's lovely seeing those. Uh, hedgehogs are out. The deep song of the frogs. Oh, the song of the dogs as well. For those who haven't uh, been equated with Heidi yet, she's joining the chorus of dogs on the street. She sometimes comes and does a cameo, but she's been part of this this circle for the last year. Those who I've known for years with drumming circles and for years with workshops out and about in places have never met Heidi until we've had these. So it's another one of the blessings of the online circle is Heidi's been able to come and get involved. Bluebells growing day by day in the local wood. Bumblebees. Excellent. 
We've got a long list here. Fantastic. Hope, creativity, love the extra daylight, bird song, loving the sun, the blossoms, the pussy willows, the, the, the celadines, celadines, uh, violets, the rabbits. Lovely. Excellent. So nobody's mentioned Easter eggs. Nobody's mentioned Easter and, uh, and those celebrations for all of the, what they symbolise in terms of uh, new beginnings and, uh, and, and rebirth and all lots more has, uh, has been mentioned there in the, uh, in the symbols that you've given. So let's, uh, I don't know if Heidi's coming to join us. No, nope, she stopped. She stopped out there. Um, let's have this round of drumming then in honour of the spring equinox, in honour of Astara, in honour of the season of balance, of moving into the light half of the year, moving into that outward part of us, our, our self-expression. And uh, all of those beautiful, th beautiful things out on the land um, that we notice and associate with this particular change of season. Someone's just added in there the smell of wild garlic. Wild garlic becoming incredibly trendy now. But yes, wild garlic out and about all over the place, as much as you can spot it. So wonderful. Let me uh, try and find the right place for that. There we go. Okay, so in honour of the spring equinox, let's have a round of drumming. Every round of drumming is a prayer and let's do it in honour of the spirit of the season.
love to the season, to the spirit of the season. To so let move into spring and past the spring equinox. And to all that awakening that's going on outside of us and that all of that is going on within us as well. Fantastic. With the joy of Zoom, I can see faces of people coming back to life. But yeah, give us some jazz hands still. Or jazz beta sticks, those who are doing jazz beta sticks. <laughs> and uh, those on Facebook, let us know that you're back. Send up a, a bubble with a thumb or some sort of emoji or pop something in the comments just to let us know that you're back. And uh, yeah, if there's anything of your experience of that that you want to, to share, do please. Pop that there in the comments. Then we know you're back. Great. So we've got some got some bubbles going up. The lag the, is not quite as big as it is sometimes. They're coming through quicker now. But yeah, waking up in more ways than one. Brilliant. That is this uh, what the season's about. Waking up the neighbours as well if we're indoors drumming at home. Super. Great. I can see thumbs and... Uh, and hands and smileys and, and all sorts moving up the screen there so I'm going to guess that m most people are back all right wonderful people talking about feeling like coming out of hibernation and you know it is it is something where we move with the seasons and we can become surprised about it each year but you know it's not just going on out on the land around us it, um, despite the fact that we may be living lives and schedules and and uh, uh, work schedules or whatever that are very much separate from it, you know, it's still going on within us. These changes and these cycles of nature are still moving through us just as much as they are through the land. So, yeah, those who are noticing that there with the kind of the feeling, feeling that waking up into the year. Like coming out of hibernation. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So we're going to join in with the, the vigil at eight o'clock to hold a, a couple of minutes silence. Um, to remember and honour all of those that have passed away with COVID in the past year. Um, I was wondering what we've done before in this circle is um, I've also sung the Heron song, um, the Carolyn Hillier Bones Heron song. And I was wondering in this time leading up to eight o'clock, uh, what people thought about if I were to sing that now, just as a, a, a call in that energy there. Uh, let us know on the the zoo, uh, the sorry, the Facebooks as well. I can see some thumbs. Thanks to those who are who are posting that on 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 Zoom there, or who are thumbs thumbsing up on Zoom. Um, for those who don't know the the Heron song, it's a song by Carolyn Hillier, um, and it connects in with kind of the, the the symbolism of the Heron, of carrying the souls over to the other world for those who are journeying to the other side. And I'll just sing it through three times, just so. Uh, just so there's that energy there, um, that, that prayer there, um, to lead us into the vigil. I can hear a couple of dogs barking. Hopefully Heidi joins us in the two minute silence um, for that. Otherwise it's, it'll be two minute silence filled with barking. Bless her. And then, um, yeah, super, we'll have that, the, the round of drumming to... Um, for all, for all of the things we remember of the year past, for all of the things that, you know, the the happy and the sad, the, uh, the, 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 the blessings and the challenges, and the challenges and the blessings, um, we'll have a round of drumming after that in, in remembrance of all of those. Because it has been a year cycle where we've had these circles together and these circles have been happening because of the unusual times that we're in. And so it's uh, good just to have some some focus on that. 
Uh, lovely to see people just uh, just joining in on the comment section here as well. Let me see whether. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with my healing drum. We'll see what this little spider wants to do. If you drop down on my leg instead, pop you there. There we go. Okay, I'll go a few times round with the heron song. It may mean that we'll start our silence um, earlier, but we'll keep going until what I see on my clock is a couple of minutes past and that allows those who said that they were going to go to their front door also if you need to disappear to go to your front door if there's something that you're doing with your with your street of joining together in vigil with it um we've, I've got the the candles here as well a light So in memory of all those that we've lost. Buzzard call you back to the wild lands, hair and fly you home. Journey to the soul of your own lands Where the mothers wait for your return Hair and fly you home Buzzards call you back to the wild lands Hair and fly you home Journey to the soul of your own lands Where the mothers wait for your return Hair and fly you home Buzzard call you back to the wild lands Hair and fly you home to the soul of your own lands where the mothers wait for your return hair and fly you home hair and fly you home hair and fly you home.
Okay, thanks everybody. If everybody joining in on that, I'll just have a moment still while people are returning back from from their front doors. Um, yeah, let us know when you're back on the Facebook Live as well. It's a good way of connecting back in with the the comments or the the thumbs and the hearts. Um, that song that I sang I, when I, when we've shared it before, I've shared the the link with it. Um, we can find that again. Um, the song is called Bones, but it's known as the Heron song. Um, and it's uh, a song by Carolyn Hillier, and it's one that over a number of years we've sang it around Samhain in honour of all of those that have passed in the year. Uh, Samhain being the celebration of the ancestors, but it's something that we sang regularly here um, in in this circle in honour of those who have been uh, who've, who have passed away during the pandemic. And yeah, to join in with this this vigil now, it, it did seem an apt one to join in with. But I'll find the link there if people are wanting wanting a bit more info about it or to find out where, I guess, the link is for where you can, can order a copy or download a copy from, from Carolyn Hillier. Mm. Alright, I can see... A number of people returning there and, and welcome back all of those on zoom who are uh, who are joining on there um so yes a year of online drumming circles and a year uh, for those of us in the uk of lockdown a year of um of challenges of very new things uh of in there as well some blessings and some gifts I'd like us to have a round of drumming just to honor and acknowledge all of those and this isn't a kind of a a, a, a section where you have to uh, find something positive or cheerful to focus on you know that's honor we're here in the balance of the light and the shade here at the equinox it's this time of the year where it's where we are holding this balance of the light and the dark and uh, this round of drumming we honour the light and the dark of the year that's been. Um, do feel free if you're wanting to, to to share what it is that you're really kind of at the moment you're you're holding on to as a memory of the last year, um, or something or something that you want to kind of remember of the last year. Um, do feel free to pop that in the comments there, but I do appreciate that some of these will be very personal, and uh, you may not want to put all of them on there. Um, but yes, yeah, important to to as we have this kind of day which is very much kind of a, a, a an anniversary drumming circle but also more more widely this is an evening of of remembrance of the year that's been and uh, an honor and acknowledging the 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 light and the dark of the year that there's been just as we're here in this this season of the light and the dark of the equinox and uh, holding both of those in mind so yeah for this round of drumming will honour those and it may be something that you know you want to reflect on or think about those and they may come to mind and you may want to to, to share something about it afterwards so do do pick up your drums Thanks those who are already starting to pop some bits in the comments. I might go through them uh, afterwards. But uh, coming off the kind of the the more sombre, deeper note with the last round, maybe we'll go into this round with a with that kind of reflection on the light and dark of the last year. And uh, yeah, we'll 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 share back together afterwards. So for the past year.
those honorings and uh, remembering of the, the year past. Here at the equinox and the, the time of the balance of light and dark. Honouring those challenges and blessings and blessings and challenges of the, the year past. And yeah, as I said, a lot of this is probably very personal, so you don't feel you have to share or comment or, or any of it. But thanks those who are popping those up on there. Um, I won't read them all out, but yeah, it's it's ones where if you're reading each other's comments, maybe things that you'll recognise in the shared experience of this all. One I will read out is the uh, the surprising blessings of Zoom, is uh, one that's on the screen here, and all of these ways where you know alone together we've been able to remain connected to see communities building in different ways um, right across the world across kind of the normal divides of communities and uh, people being able to uh, be brought together and seeing a lot happening seeing a lot kind of growing and being created from that um, and one of those in particular being this circle and the, the, the different online groups we've got. And this uh, drumming circle this time last year, this first one that we, we did at the Spring Equinox, was the first Facebook Live that I did. And it feels like I'm old hat at them now, of uh, all these Facebook Live things and all the different ones that we've done for Sacred Earth Activism. Um, to the point that a year later, uh, we on Sacred Earth Activism, we've got our first online conference where we're we're going crazy and doing a whole weekend's worth of uh, of talks and live streaming and uh, and discussions around sacred activism with, with people all around the world. So uh, I've popped on the Facebook one. There's a link to that as well if you're wanting some details. But that's that's the difference uh, a year makes the change from only doing these groups in person. Uh, never having done a live stream. I think I downloaded Zoom ready for this, maybe even. Maybe I downloaded Zoom for another meeting beforehand and then uh, uh, got on to here with this. But um, yeah, then we've had these circles going, you know, for the most part, twice a month ever since. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, so details for that. Uh, those who are interested, we've got the, the Sacred Earth Activism online conference. It's this Saturday and Sunday, UK time, running from about 10, 10.30 on each day until 6. With, I think we've got about a dozen or more more speakers. Um, with people from all around with the world with different experience, being involved in change movements and weaving the sacred into there in one way or another from different traditions, people from the UK, obviously we've got people who are joining in from uh, Australia, people joining in from North America, bringing indigenous voices and traditions to to the discussion around sacred activism. Um, and we've got people uh, who are bringing Norse backgrounds to it, those who are bringing uh, kind of European traditions, other, other European traditions, and wider and broader earth-based spiritual kind of traditions to that so um we're running over this weekend with all of those and that will be uh, on a zoom uh a zoom conference a zoom meeting so yeah do uh, do have a look at the details for that if you're if you're interested and one thing that would be really great to help would be just to share that out far and wide um i think that's the only link i've got on there this time uh, and obviously, if people are able to uh, give a contribution for this evening or for these evenings uh, to help support them and keep them going, these are free evenings. There's not a charge, but if there's a the PayPal.me forward slash Heron Drums is the the link if you are able to or wanting to to give a donation for these. Um, I'm being urged more and more to be clear and 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 mention that during the the, the sessions. 
however uh, challenging I find it mentioning it. But yes, we have got the, the paypal.me link there for anybody who's able to give a donation uh, for these. Um, a couple of questions I can see coming in to do with the conference from people who have signed out. We haven't sent the links out yet. Um, it's the, the tickets are by Eventbrite. Um, and there's a couple of ways that we'll be sending the links out. I think we've put a link up on the, when you've got the ticket, the, the page that you see on Eventbrite, there'll be the link and details and there'll be an email going out on Thursday. Um, and then I'll be probably sending out a reminder for that on Saturday morning as well. Um, for, uh, for, yeah, for the, for the links to be able to access the, um, the conference and great. I can see a couple of people there as well got their ticket for the conference it's going to be a really really great one i'm i'm going to be kind of in some of the conversations asking questions and whatever but really excited to hear what everyone's got to to say and what their experience and their wisdom is that they'll be bringing to it so do come along if you're on the zoom session you get to kind of ask questions or put questions to uh, to the speakers and we'll be picking out some questions from there so uh, yeah it's, it's it's definitely worth getting along Particularly for the, uh, the if there's there's talks on there that you really want to get along and see, um, to be able to put questions to, to some of the speakers on that weekend. Um, but yeah, that's that that's all of the notices. The next circle that we have here is our journeying circle on the 13th of April. So we'll be joining in again and uh, having our online journeying um, session there. Um, uh, stay tuned those who are saying thanks for this evening because we are going to be finished finishing with uh, with the song that we started with back last spring equinox um, which is the river is flowing was the first one that we uh, on the first circle that we we started with and I believe we did that because we would were, were we just around the new moon then was it a new moon just before the spring equinox last year so we were doing something uh, elsewhere to do with working with the waters and working with rivers I think that's what I, I remember us doing last year um, but yeah let's let's sing that th through a few times and uh, before we close this evening and we'll join in with the drums but I'll begin with just singing it through just so uh, just so we can all get it and then I'll work out where the drum comes in with it as well so the words for those who don't know it the river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing down to the sea. O oh, mother, carry me, your child I will always be. O oh, mother, carry me down to the sea. There are other verses, but we'll keep it simple on this year. The river is flowing, flowing and growing. The river is flowing down to the sea oh mother carry me or oh, child i will always be oh mother carry me down to the sea the river is flowing flowing and growing the river is flowing down to the sea oh mother carry me or oh, child i will
as the river flows, as those drum beats ripple out far and wide, may they go with our love and thanks to all of the unseen that have held us, not only this evening, but throughout the last year. All of those guides, spirit allies, all of the ancestors, all of the spirits of the seasons on this wheel as it's turned throughout the last year. All of the, the spirits of the land that we've connected in with. And as we go forward in this turn of the wheel in the coming days and weeks and months, may you continue to hold us, may you continue to hold a, a strong supported circle here as we continue to come back together to journey and to connect with the spirit of the land. So for all you do and all you bring, we give our thanks and gratitude and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be. And thanks very much everybody who's joined on this evening, whether it's your first one along, whether you've been here for all of them, whether you've uh, dropped in as and when you can. It's uh, been a brilliant year of these circles to, to, to see it grow and look forward to seeing it continue growing and evolving as we go forward with it. So lots of love to you all and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. An extra thanks I just want to kind of notice or kind of acknowledge. I got through a song without losing my breath. That's uh, got to be a positive sign. It's, uh, I hadn't even thought of that when we started and then I remembered that most of the songs that I haven't been able to get to the end before, being, before flagging. So uh, it's a sign of uh, recovery and getting better, I'm sure. So uh, yeah, thanks body. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, the link for the online conference is on the blurb at the top of the Facebook one. The link for the, uh, if you're able to send donations, is on there as well, paypal.me forward slash Heron Drums. Um, we're back here with a journeying evening on the 13th of April. And um, yeah, look forward to connecting with you all again then. And uh, I'll take a look through the comments. If there's any that I've missed, I'll uh, get back to you then as well. So yeah, speak to you, speak to you soon, see you soon. And uh, Equinox blessings to you all. <laughs>